Hello, you lovely lot, and welcome to Expert Zone and our how to series where we're going to show you how to do things with Microsoft products. Uh, Greg? Yeah. That's a Chromebook. For all the titles. Ah. Yes, we did say how to do things with Microsoft products and then show you a Chromebook. This is because Microsoft 365 can be used online when using a Chromebook. But this is a how-to video, so how do you get Microsoft 365 on a Chromebook? Now there are multiple different ways in which we can do this depending on where you are in your Microsoft 365 journey. So we split the video up into multiple different sections. So you just go to the section that you want, get the information you need, rather than having to watch the whole video. So section one is gonna be about if you have a Microsoft 365 account already active, be that a personal or family license attributed to a Microsoft account. Section two is gonna be about if you have a pre-purchased card or digital download code and not quite sure what to do with it. So we're gonna show you how to activate that onto a Chromebook and get you going that way. Section three is if you don't have a Microsoft 365 license at all and you just wanna get started with it, I'll be able to show you how to do all of that in section three. All the information is in the description down below so you can jump to the particular section that's gonna be helpful for you and um, I'll see you there. I'll, uh, I'll see you there. Section one, active Microsoft 365. To get going with your Microsoft 365 license, open up an internet browser and head to office.com, the link of which is in the description below. Hit the sign in button and sign into the Microsoft account with an active Microsoft 365 license attached. And that's it. You can now use Microsoft 365 online whenever you want. Section 2 Pre Purchased. With a pre purchased card or code, you need to activate this to a Microsoft account before using the license. To do this, open up your choice of internet browser and go to setup.office.com, the link of which is in the description below. Once there, sign into your Microsoft account. This will be a at live, at Outlook, or at Hotmail email address, for example. Or if you don't have one, now is the time to get one as you do require a Microsoft account to have Microsoft 365. To do so, hit the create one hyperlink. Next up is the product key. This is the 25 digit code on the back of your card under the silver strip, or you will have received as part of your online purchase. Enter it into the following boxes, select the region you are living in and press next. Your Microsoft 365 account is now active. Once this has been done, open up another tab and head to office.com. Once there, sign into the Microsoft account that you just attached the Microsoft 365 license to, and that's it. You can now use Microsoft 365 online as you wish. Section three, get started with Microsoft 365. First thing to do to get started with Microsoft 365 is open up your choice of internet browser and head to microsoft.com. The link is in the description below. Select this button top right of the page and sign in to your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, this is the time to create one by hitting the create one button. Once you are signed in, select Microsoft 365 from the top ribbon. This is where you can see all of the different versions of Microsoft 365. For the everyday person not looking to use Microsoft 365 as part of business, head to personal and family. 
Here you have lots of information about what you get with the subscription, like the premium Office apps which you'll be able to use online on a Chromebook, and a terabyte of online cloud storage with Microsoft OneDrive. Next is the choice of which license suits you the best. Personal is for just the one person, giving them all of the benefits of Microsoft 365 for up to five devices. If you know even just one other person who could benefit from sharing a Microsoft 365 license though, we would go with Microsoft 365 Family, which can be shared with up to six people in total, each getting access to all of the great features and benefits of Microsoft 365, including each person getting their own dedicated one terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage. Select buy now on the license you want once you have made your decision. The next bit we can't really help you with all that much, as it's your bank details that are needed. So input the details and follow the rest of the steps confirming payment, etc. Now you've activated your Microsoft 365 account, open up a new tab and go to office.com. Once there, sign into the same account you use to purchase Microsoft 365 and you'll be good to go. You can now use Microsoft 365 online as you wish. And there you go, that's it. You should now have access to Microsoft 365 on your Chromebook. So you can use the online version of the premium Office apps whenever you like. Have a terabyte of online cloud storage with Microsoft OneDrive and it can be used up to five devices at a time. Sources. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, please drop a like down below and let us know in the comments which section you found most helpful. If you want more from us here at Expert Zone UK and I, be that our how-to videos, unboxings or overview videos, then please subscribe down below for more. Thank you very much for watching and I'll uh, see you later on.